Hello my soccer universe. I'm wearing Roma, but in all honesty, this Milan fan is really, really hurting. Really, really hurting. Um, this was supposed to be a grand weekend. This is the toughest video to make. This is the one, this weekend Serie I followed the most. It hurt the most and I've been postponing it the most, but uh, let's get through it. I think I gotta start with a rant against everyone. First of all, Cagliari, why? Why can't you do it like Mainz? They were celebrating, they da 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 da, some players drunk, playing against Dortmund, losing to Dortmund, handing it to Dortmund. Cagliari knows that they are saved. Show up, play well. Why? As a punishment, off you go. Galvarese, why? I know I cannot count on Inter. I actually would have gone so far if Inter would have won that game. I would have gone out and bought the current Inter home jersey. Not even the third jer uh, jersey. I would have bought the home jersey. Thank you, Inter, for uh, putting us in the Champions League. No. To their credit, Inter showed, showed, showed up with a good team. However, there was not the last urgency. Still, that was a uh, game that was really closely fought. And then it turned on a penalty call. I mean, Calvarez had a bad game. And I'm not saying he was only uh, making decisions ag uh, against Inter. Far from it. But that penalty at the end, a ridiculous decision as can, can be. Why? Why? <sighs> But to be very, 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 very honest, it's all down to Milan. Why are you playing so timidly? You had an awesome week. You scored 10 goals and I knew it. Scoring seven against Torino, I've seen that before. You score many. And then in the game where you need to score, you don't score any. Ugh. This was one hell of a disappointing weekend. It, uh, Already booked me what happened in Germany with Frankfurt not making it and uh, you know also that Köln is going down. It really bugged me in Austria that last, uh, yeah, but with that season I'm already done. It was all building up for me. It was great to see La Liga Atletico come back. I was really building up to me to have a wonderful evening and celebrating Milan boom into the Champions League. And now Atalanta away from home where you need to get a win. No, 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 no. And Pioli can say what he wants. Yes, maybe head of the season. No, honestly, I thought Milan can make top four. I still think Milan could make top four. Milan should be in the top four in this season. You played a wonderful season. Yes, January 26, losing to uh, Inter in the cup quarterfinal was maybe a little bit of a turning point in the season. But you still, you got yourself out of it. You beat Juventus away from home. You followed it up with a win against Torino. All you needed to do is get a win against Cagliari, a team that just got saved. And you're not getting, getting it done. And don't give me the excuses that Ibra, 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 Ibra. No. No, it is, it is just one huge disappointment. This, And I know exactly how this is going. I know exactly how this is going. That these guys that have no business to go in the Champions League after the season they had will make it into the top four. Another lost year. Uh, it's so disappointing. Uh, it is so disappointing. I cannot, I'm, I'm hurting. I'm really hurt, hurting. I will have a hard time to get through this video without another outburst. I, it, it, it just, uh, it makes me angry. And I even was happy that Roma beat Lazio. Hey, my second, the biggest game and Fonseca got a good sense of why there's another thing where I could go off, off, off on her. I would have kept Fonseca. He's a great coach. You will see, he will get now another uh, team and I think he will do excellent with them. What I hear, Lyon, hear me out, Lyon is, is at least finishing second next season. Let's go into it. It started actually out with uh, not a bad news, I mean, Atalanta winning at Genoa and therefore getting the Champions League spot made it actually easy that uh, Milan will not get caught in a three-way tie that they might lose. So this was really good news overall. And I kind of set the tone, yes, Atalanta will make it in, we expected that. 
Now the pressure for them is off. They can will focus on the cup final. We'll come come to that. It was actually a fun game. I mean, uh, Atalanta cruising in the first half, three 0 up. Zapata, Malinowski, Gossens, uh, Shomudo, uh, Shomurodov <laughs> puts one back in the four for that, but then Pasolic immediately makes it four one again. You think yeah, all cruising? No, Panda with a penalty and Shomurodov with another one. Eighty fourth makes it three four, and they're barely hanging on. Uh, Torino's gamble to save most of the starters against Milan completely did not pay off. First of all, you got knocked down by Milan 7-0 and then you're losing to Spezia in not very pretty pre pre fresh because Spezia completely outplayed you. Saponara and Zola with a penalty. Uh, or a two to a half. Belotti pulls one back with a penalty and you think maybe there's life in Torino. No. And Zola with another one and Erlich make it a very, very convincing scoreline for Spezia. Juve Inter, I said already a few things. Um, I think the game started slow, but it got building with the first penalty call where, um, yeah, Kellini is held back by Darmian. And um, he annoyed the heck out of me. But the way how Kellini was vocal in that game really showed, uh, I mean, he is. In a way, defensively, he is still a liability, he's a, a liability but his fighting spirit, it's uh, a little bit like Ramos, actually invigorated Juventus. Um, so as a penalty that is actually saved when Ronaldo is there to pip it in. On the other uh, side, um, also a penalty, which wasn't immediately clear, but when you see the replay and know how it's going, yes, penalty. Uh, I think the Licht stepping on um, uh, Lautaro, you know, a few years ago, I probably would not have even, uh, two years ago, would have thought that this is a penalty. Okay, was a penalty, now the Lukaku's up, 1-1. One, one. Okay, we go in the break with, with a draw. A draw is all I want. Actually, an intervene would be uh, great, but a draw is all I need. Uh, in in there, uh, I mean, a win would have been sensational. I mean, I would have been popping and celebrating, popping the champagne and celebrating. Uh, however, Quadrado with probably the best uh, scene of the game, a great shot. Uh, goes on to the post and in 2-1 Juventus. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. However, the game turns a little bit. Perisic come, come, comes on, then Bentancu is sent off, and that was another one. Um, with a little bit of feeling for the game, you don't give that. And Inter actually, and I at least I have to give themselves credit. I know I cannot count on the teams that I hate. When I want them to win, they never win. However, to their credit, they played the full squad. Conte wanted that, that they win, but there was not the last urgency to it. Um, and in the 83rd, I'm actually quite happy because a cross comes in uh, Chiellini, who is pulling Lukaku like crazy. He's, of course, also pulled. Uh, thinks he wants to... They show the show to be foul, but the ball goes in. And Avar reveals that it should be a goal. And it's an on goal Chiellini. 2-2. Two, two. My minimum requirement. I was already quite beaming on that one. And then that penalty... Was it uh, Quadra Perisic on Quadrado? Quadrado is so looking for the penalty. He sees the leg there. And you can see the. Uh, this is not a foul. Yes, the leg is far, far out, but this is not a penalty. Quadrado is falling before, the, uh, before he's even touched. And this goes to Warren, stands up. I don't get it. I really don't get it. This, this made me so angry. And you could see the Inter players were angry too on, on that. Quadrado converts it 3 2. At least I thought, okay, you will win. Makes it a little bit more exciting. Milan will get the win against Cagliari. Uh, the Derby della Capitale usually is a, something, a game that I really would focus on a, a lot. I actually thought that the first Lazio was a slightly better team, but then uh, Roma took control and actually really deserved the win. Mikitarian getting the first goal after Jaco assist, and then Jaco actually getting. Um, and, and then when Jaco is um, going off, he actually gets quite the uh, applause, meaning that I it seems like he's pro probably leaving. Uh, Pedro makes it 2-0 for Roma in the 78th. Uh, I think it was a fully deserved victory for Roma. Napoli, also not an easy game. You could see the nerves of Na Napoli. That's the one thing, especially when they then got the penalty. Uh, I think they hit the post for me. Now, Napoli was over, over the better team, but uh, it was a very lively game. And for some reason there, yeah, I, I know the reason, because Fiorentina basically knocked Napoli out of a title fight uh, three seasons ago, 
when they actually had won at Juventus and uh, all they needed to do is a win against Fiorentina to stay in the race. Fiorentina show showed up with nothing to play. And yeah, despite them both hating Juve, there's still a rivalry on. Give has a penalty given. Um, Insigne steps up, the penalty is saved, but on the rebound he got he gets it in and then a little bit later um, it was a Vinuti on goal, uh, makes it 2 0 Napoli, but a really, really hard, hard, hard fought win for Napoli, who also, as I said, are showing nerves already, uh, which is, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me with this team. I actually saw most of Benevento Crotone, uh, the video where I'm talk talking about how much I spent on jerseys with my wife, is, it was actually shot during that game. You see the little bit of background for the first half. That was a game I really want people in Zaga to do well as a coach. I really want to stay Benevento to stay in. However, at that point, I see the only way that I really thought, yeah, Grutonen needs to get a result um, to save Cagliari, and then there's nothing to play for. Wow, how I was wrong. Lapadulo gives Benevento the lead, and I think from what I could tell, Benevento was largely the better team. Grutonen, though, uh, you have to give Grutonen credit that they have been fighting and ever since they even they have been reggae, they have still pulling out results. They go again a man down uh, when Golemic is sent, sent, sent off in the 2024th. Then uh, they were really Benevento missing chances, then a stoppage time, Simi gets the equalizer. And you could see, I mean, I know, I said to my wife, this is probably good, good, good for Milan, but this is totally heartbreaking when I see the reaction of Benevento and especially people in Zagi who I really want to do well. Um, yeah, was not to be for them. They still have a chance, but it's not big, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. And then Milan against Cagliari. <sighs> this was the Milan from two or three seasons ago. The Milan that plays slow. The Milan that is a little bit timid, that doesn't have any confidence, that, uh, especially in the first half. And then uh, what two players angered me a lot. First of all, Cialanoglu who when you need his guiding hand he does not show up he tries to play it pretty and he's completely failing at that drives me nuts and then also the little bit later on Castillejo who came off of Brian Diaz who didn't show much I mean I didn't Sale Marcus and Diaz off for Leao and Castillejo that's not a good change overall I don't dislike Castillejo I think he's he is he's a good bit part player but he tried then to win it all, and I'm thinking, please, Casti, please show me something. Yes, and he had a few chances, but sometimes he shoots too early. Uh, it's all... When it got urgent, they shot too early. When it was uh, when it was still early in the game, they made another pass, another pass, another pass. And honestly, uh, I think it was Papa Valletta who had a header that Donnarumma really made huge saves. I mean, midway through the second half, Cagliari could have well gone into the lead and maybe, maybe they should because then it could have been the Atletico Madrid, maybe they should have even, maybe they should, should they should have even, um, but Milan cannot find a winner, then you make the desperation with putting Mandzukic on for Cialanoglu, yes there were the shots there but it was not anything where I say this has to be a goal, yeah. Uh, of the other results, I want to solo with the win at Parma, keeps themselves in the contention for a uh, conference league spot. And Elas Verona, Bologna, two teams that will be very important in the last round. Play out a 2 2 draw yesterday evening, that's why I've made the video now because I said, okay, let's get the full round in. Uh, probably I should have waited for another day because uh, Lazio and uh, Torino will be playing. But before that, here's how it stands. and. Milan still in third, owning the head-to-head -head over Milan, uh, over Napoli and over Juve. However, 56% chance lower than Juventus. This hurts so much. This hurts so much, and I know exactly where this is going. You will see it in a second. Uh, on the bottom, Torino. If they get a point in the makeup game, they are safe. Other than that, they still have to fight for survival. We'll see against whom in a sec. At the moment, it's still, uh, you see the table and you see it back here. Milan is currently in fifth spot and I really think this is how it's going. I don't see Milan winning at Atalanta. There was when we had uh, just Piontek, this miracle win. I don't see this happening, unfortunately. I really don't. Uh, and I see Juve and Napoli both winning because... <sighs> 
they have easier rounds but before that the one thing that could be saving is that Atalanta and Juve have to play midweek in the cup final where they could give it all I'm in a way I'm hoping for overtime and penalty shootout at least that they were tired legs at Juventus and tired legs at Atalanta I don't know what would be better for Milan who is winning I really don't uh, one way is maybe if Atalanta wins then uh, they might celebrate and then they might let it slide against Milan I cannot see that also, if Atalanta wins, you will be so dejected that they can. No, you will really concentrate. If Juventus win, then Atalanta will have something to. Work. I cannot decide. I just want to have overtime and a penalty shootout, and a really, 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 really tough game. That's what I want in that one. And as I said, we have the makeup game with Lazio and Torino. Um, if Torino gets a point, they're saved. And then uh, last round, these are not the fixtures as far as I know it. Uh, all the non-important games will be played on Saturday. Uh, and Inter gets a special spot where they get the trophy and then it is all in the evening. We have actually, I would say, four really important games and then the one for the Europa Conference League with Sassuolo plus Lazio and so Roma against Spezia. Roma needs, as far as I know, at least a point. Then they are in the Conference League, Sassuolo will not play European football. Uh, Torino, Benevento, maybe there's something to play for. If Torino loses to Lazio, then uh, they need to avoid defeat against Bene Bene Benevento to stay up. So this could be a nervy game. And yeah, Milan needs to uh, win at Atalanta. At least it's away from home where Milan is doing much better. However, I don't see Juventus losing at Bologna. I don't see Napoli losing at home to uh, dropping points against Verona. Both teams have it in them, but I, don't, I just don't see it. And so, yeah, Milan will finish fifth. As you can see, I'm very cheerful. Uh, if you still enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos like these, drop a line below what you thought is going to happen and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get an update whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, wish you a wonderful day. Bye.